Coming up on one minute, mark T minus 60 seconds and counting, we are go. T minus 50 seconds. Coming up on the 40-second mark, T-minus 40 seconds and counting, T-minus 40, all reports look good, all aspects of the mission go, T-minus 30 seconds and counting. Now T-minus 21 seconds and counting. Ready to go. Coming up on the 10 second mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff. Ah! And welcome to Kids at 11 Online. I'm jumping into spring. That's right. The clocks jump forward into spring this morning. And here we are. Um, for the last five weeks we've been travelling through Lent and today is Palm Sunday which is the first day of the Holy Week, the week leading up to Easter. And we've got lots of things to let you know about today but before we start let's find out what's on Kids at 11 online this week. your favourites and more I hope. Um, there was something different mentioned in What's On Kids at 11 online this week and that item was called Next Week and I'm looking for it now. Um, George has put all our notices in the recycling bin so I've uh, got everything out um, to look for the information I need to share with you. Um, ah here it is. Banana, 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 Oh no, that's George's shopping list. I'll keep looking. Meanwhile, here's our first song, and it's about Jesus' disciples, 52 Map Street. 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names. 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names. You get your five J's, John James. James, son of Avius, Judas, Judas Iscariot, you two peas, Peter and Philip. 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names. 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names. You get the name map, M for Matthew. A for Andrew, B for Bartholomew, you get the ST, Simon and Thomas. 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names. 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names. You get your five J's, John. James, son of Abbeus, Judas, Judas Iscariot, you two peas, Peter and Philip. 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names. 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names. You get the name map. Simon and Thomas 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names 52 Map Street is a real neat way of learning the disciples' names 
Way of learning the disciples' names. Way of learning the disciples' names. George, it's good to see you. Where have you been? Oh, I've been saying good hi because it's fizzled and I'm not Scottish. That corn last week has turned to your jokes. What, Basil the Butternut Squash? It's his last week of presenting your jokes. Now, Basil was classically trained, did you know that? Oh, I did know that. He was classically trained at Leon Solent for a head shop. <laughs> was he really? Um, so I guess we're really lucky he decided to uh, stay with us for one last week. Yeah, that's right. Now, your jokes are being reviewed, and Basil says this is a particularly amusing joke. Great, I wonder if you agree. Go on then, George. Up to you. So, we know what to do is this week's Your Jokes. Yay! Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill to get to the bottom? <laughs> As mentioned earlier, today is called Palm Sunday. So today's reading has been chosen to help us to understand why today is called Palm Sunday. Now, the reading is from the Gospel written by Mark, chapter 11, starting at verse 1. So, if you're sitting comfortably, then I'll begin. The feast of the Passover was approaching. Jesus led his disciples on the long uphill route towards Jerusalem. When they came to Bethage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, Jesus spoke to two of his disciples. Go to the village ahead, and just as you enter, you will find a colt, the foal of a donkey, tied there. No one has ever ridden it before. Untie it and bring it here. If anybody asks you what you are doing, tell them the Lord needs it and will return it. The two disciples set off immediately. They found the young donkey outside in the street, tied to a doorway, and started to untie it. As they did, so the colt's owner said, What are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to. The Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. And the owners let them borrow the donkey. The two disciples led the colt back to Jesus. They threw their coats on the young donkey and then Jesus sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks or palm branches on the ground for Jesus to ride over, while others waved palm leaves. People ran ahead of Jesus shouting, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Others shouted, Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Many shouted, Hosanna in the highest heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. And that ends our reading for today. Did you notice the reference about why today is called Palm Sunday? That's right. Jesus is riding into Jerusalem and crowds of people are celebrating, making lots of noise and spreading amongst other things palm tree branches onto the ground for Jesus to ride over. Other people were waving palm leaves. For some reason, the palm trees used in this triumphal entry into Jerusalem have become an emblem um, that's come to us through history. Maybe as the years pass by, people would say to each other, hmm, when was it that Jesus rode into Jerusalem? And somebody else might say, Oh, it was when we waved all those palm leaves and the name stuck as Palm Day or now as we call it Palm Sunday. Perhaps it's a bit like if I asked you, how would you describe the coronavirus lockdown when it started? You might say, hmm, it was the day I didn't go to school or it was the day everybody in our house stayed home and it wasn't even the weekend or a holiday or maybe something else. 
In years to come, how will you describe the start of your lockdown experience? Anyway, back to the reading. This day must have been significant because all four of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, mention it. Now, the Gospel written by Matthew even explains why the crowd was so excited. In the Old Testament of the Bible, you know, that part of the Bible that was written before Jesus was born, the prophet Zechariah had written these words. Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Now, did you notice the mention of the colt? the foal of a donkey. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a colt. The prophecy calls the person riding the colt the king of Zion, the king of Jerusalem, their king. Was this man, Jesus, the king they'd been waiting for? The king who will remove the tyranny of the Romans? No wonder the people were getting excited. This could be the day. Could this be the greatest day in history? Well, as it happens, the greatest day in history was close, but it was a week away. So that's what we're going to hear about on Kids at 11 online next week. The greatest day in history. So let us now pray to God. So what I'd like you to do is put your hands together, close your eyes, I'll say a prayer, and we'll all finish with a Amen. Okay, so if you'd like to put your hands together, close your eyes, and I'll say a prayer. Father God, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. We bless you for being our hero and the focus of our praise. Send us out full of love, joy and hope. Let our enthusiasm be infectious to those we meet, and may others be drawn to you, especially in this holy week. And we all say together, Amen. Well done.
Faith-based church in Leon the Solent, we provide recycling for those items you cannot place in your recycling bins provided by Gosport Borough Council. One of these bins at the church is the Tetra Pak recycling bin. Now, Tetra Paks are great. They're like tins, but don't weigh as much. However, you can't recycle them in the curbside bins. But you can now recycle them in special collection bins. And we have one of those at St. Faith's Church in Leon the Solent. All types of Tetra Paks can be recycled, as can paper cups. And it's really important that you make sure all your cartons are clean and empty before recycling. Otherwise, the recycling bin is going to get a bit smelly. Now, a good way I found to clean the cartons is to cut across the top and then I can get my hand in to clean them after I've done all the other washing up. And if the carton has a plastic top, then leave it on and that will also get recycled. Join us to recycle Tetra Packs and let's make a difference in Lee. with my special guest Pete the Aussie. Hello Pete. Good night Kev. This is fact time and Pete what is the fact you've got for us today? Well Kev today is the 28th of March and today is called Palm Sunday named after the palm branches laid on the ground in front of Jesus riding into Jerusalem and palm leaves being waved in the air to celebrate his entrance to the city. Thanks Pete, but we did know that today is Palm Sunday. Um, do you have any more facts for us? Well, yes I do Kev. Today is the first day of Holy Week, the week leading up to Easter. Thanks Pete. However, we did know that today is the first day of Holy Week. Have you got any more facts for us? Well, yes I do Kev. This Thursday is called Maundy Thursday. Maundy Thursday is derived from the Latin word for command and refers to Jesus' commandments to his disciples Love one another as I have loved you. Thanks Pete. That is quite interesting. However, we did know that this Thursday is called Maundy Thursday. Is there anything else you've got for us? Well, this Friday is called Good Friday. Next Sunday is called Easter Day. Well, what about this fact? The first supermoon of the year will be visible tonight on the 28th of March. Oh, that sounds interesting. Why is it called a supermoon? I'm glad you asked me that question, Kev. First of all, let's understand what a full moon is. A full moon is when the moon is shining like a full circle in the sky. Now, full moons occur when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth to the sun during its rotation. Super moons occur when a full moon coincides with the moon being at its closest point to the earth. And that's tonight at about 8pm. So, the full moon tonight will appear bigger and brighter than usual. As long as the weather is clear, the super moon will be hard to miss. Good luck with your moon hunting tonight. Well, Pete, that was a great fact for today. And thank you for sharing it with us. And hopefully, we might get to see the first super moon of the year for ourselves. So, thank you.
challenge. This week, my challenge is one I can do, but I wonder if you can do it. So this week, my challenge is, and are you ready for this? Can you touch your nose with your tongue? La, la, la. Give it a go and see if you can touch your nose with your tongue. La, 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 la. It's easy for me because I've got a very long nose. Look at that. Ha, 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 ha. But can you touch your nose with your tongue? Thank you and goodbye, 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 goodbye. Welcome to Marvel Roll and last week we made a bagatelle game for our marbles using cardboard and it really is a brilliant game but we found the unevenness of the cardboard made the marbles behave strangely at times. It would be great to have a smooth surface for our game. So this week we're going to make a bagatelle board for our marbles using wooden nails. The wood will have a smooth surface for the marbles to roll on and the nails will add a springiness to the game compared to the cardboard version. Now clearly this week's construction is aimed at people who have been trained in the use of hammer and nails. So if that's not you then pester someone who is competent to make the game for you. All you've got to do is tell them what they've got to do. So for the baseboard I've cut out a piece of wood like this in the shape of the bagatelle game um, with its arched top and I then have this plastic strip that I am going to nail around the top and around the sides and bottom to help keep the marbles in place. So let me go to the craft table and construct my marble bagatelle game with nails. The key to building your marble bagatelle game with nails is to draw your design on the board first and then you can get on with the construction without having to think too much. So you're going to mark up along the side here for the shooting aisle and we're going to be sticking that piece of wood on that line. Um, we're going to draw some circles. So I've got lots of different things, uh, washers, a two P piece, um, lid off a jug and we're going to put those on and we're going to draw around them partial circles and this will give us a line that we're going to nail our nails in and um, anyway I think the first thing I need to do is nail the sides on so I will now get on with building my marble bagatelle game with nails And there it is, my marble bagatelle game. Let's see if it works, shall we? I'm going to put my first marble in and oh, it's hit the bumper and you can see the springiness, can't you, of the marbles hitting the nails. Let's try another one. 
Oh, missed. So that one didn't get any points. Try again. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought that was going to go in. Yes. Oh, point. Two points. Oh, did you see how that bounced out? <laughs> and of course the point the marbles at the bottom don't get any points so let me see how many do I get one two three well it's very good so I'm gonna have another go now and uh, let's see how we get on personal best isn't it two four six seven eight points um, it's a bit fiddly to make a marble bagatelle board using nails however it is great fun once you've made it um, and if I compare it with last week's bagatelle board they're very very similar but have quite different characteristics both are fabulous fun to play um, but why don't you try and build one yourself? Marble Bagatelle and Marble Bagatelle with nails. Well, I found it. The notice about next week. This coming Friday, we will be meeting in person outside St. Faith's Church in Leon the Solent at 11 o'clock for an outdoor service called Good Friday for Everyone. And on Sunday, we'll be meeting in person again outside St. Faith's Church in Leon the Solent at 11 o'clock for our outdoors Sundays at 11 service. And both of these services, we're going to be able to sing. Woohoo! So, I hope you'll be able to join us, and now for our next song, Best Best Friend. Jesus, you're my friend and I love you. You're with me when I'm down or when I'm buzzing around. Your goodness and your faithfulness is me away. No one else can be so good to me.
everything you're gonna do is so amazing. You died for me and rose for me, so I can live forever as your friend for eternity. I can't think of anything greater. Cause you are my best, best friend. That's all we have time for here on Kids at 11 Online this week. There's a lot to do, uh, including our Easter. Yes, there is. And look out for the super moon tonight at 8 p.m. Complete Jesse's challenge to touch your nose with your tongue. I feel hard to you know. Um, join us on Friday at 11 a.m. at St. Face Church in Leon the Solent for our outdoor service called Good Friday for everyone. Construct a York tailgate. Bag a tailgate. Bag a tailgate with nails. Yes. <laughs> Rewatch old Kids at 11 online videos for more, I or more ideas of things to do. Um, join us on Sunday at 11 a.m. for St. Face Church in the Old Solent for our outdoor Sundays at 11 service. Send your jokes to us here at Kids at 11 online. Yes. And if you do come to the services at St. Face Church this week, um, take the opportunity to bring your recycling with you. And let's make a difference in Lee. Yeah, let's make a difference in Lee. Um, and although we're meeting physically at St. Face Church next week, don't worry. Kids at 11 online will be here again next Sunday. So it's goodbye from me. Say goodbye, George. Goodbye, George. Goodbye. <laughs>
And as the earthworms emerge from the ground, the robins and the birds can e be seen feeding on the worms, and this gives us a real feel that spring is here. But because tonight's full moon is not only a worm moon, but a super moon, as well it's called a super worm moon. Now, that's a fact to share with your friends.